everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Carol at mom.plans and I'm here to do a quick overview of January in this Moxie Live planner. I just love this cover and then show you what I have started for February. So let's dig in to see how my January went. This is my calendar that I just use for some kind of journaling, a little bit of overview of how the week went. Maybe if I wasn't doing something great here, then maybe this week I'm going to try to improve upon it. But I don't use this as a planner planner, and so I did not want to put any type of schedule in my calendar. But I did, however, really want to make use of this calendar. And so this is what um, worked this month, and I'm going to carry that on with me to February. These are my January goals, and overall I did pretty well. I'm mostly proud of my financial goals. I have stuck to them, no impulse spending, and everything has been a plan purchase and definitely not getting any more planners or planner supplies right now. I have so much. I am really about using what I have, and that is going really well. I went fairly light on my goals in January because January is a tough month. I always think you are just getting over the holidays, you're tired, the weather is usually not great. I mean, we've already had four snow days here and you know, I can't get outside very often. For me, January is just a little bit about slowing down, going slow, and I did not want to add a lot of goals or plans for January because I knew it was gonna be a tough month. This is, I'm just gonna flip through quickly. These are the first couple weeks of January and going well and here we are to the current week these are my daily reflections that i do every day uh, i jotted down some notes here for some things i want to remember for this upcoming week that i want to get done and then for my tracker it wasn't a great week i've been sick all week and so my workouts i just crossed it off I'm not going to worry about it but my evening reflections i have done they went really well it was mostly about just trying to do a little self-care reading, eh, and I did check my goals. So, oh, and I'm, this is a sticky note I've been just moving and, and placing just as a reminder to use my timer to keep me focused on a task at hand. If I'm going to set up my goals, I'll put my timer on and know that I put my phone in the other room. I'm not going to check it and I'm not going to answer messages. I'm not going to, anytime a notification comes on, I'm just going to stay focused on what I'm doing. And that's, it's been working well. And right now, it's just a habit I'm trying to get established. So that's why I just keep reminding myself to use the timer. I will fill out the monthly reflections here at the end of the week. And then we're going to move into February. Here is February goals. And here is the first week. So it'll be the end of January into February. I have started pre-planning my goals in February and here is a little notebook that I have in the back of the book and I also want to share this so let me get back to February one of the moxie life dot grid notebooks and so I didn't use it for January I thought it would be a great way to pre-plan um, before I actually put it down in my planner and so intentional is my word of the year here are my February goals Lettering, handwriting is going to be a goal this month, and I'm going to do it on the daily. And so I thought, no better place than here. And so this was just something I put in very quickly, but practice will make perfect, so I am going to try that this, this month. Went through each category, trying to think of things, and they have free printables on the Moxie Life website. And this is a page that is in the planner already, and I'm always flipping to it, but I thought it might be easier to just have it printed out and then just keep pulling it every time I want to look at it or reference it. And I have even gone in and, you know, made some little little notes, little checks by some of the things that resonate the most with me on each of these areas of life. I also got from a Moxie Life um, tip um, that when planning and goal setting, you, you ask, what do I need this month? What do I need this week? And I thought that was something I always wanted to keep in mind when I was goal setting. So I looked at my personal, I got some ideas from it, and that's where I started brainstorming. And like I have the morning routine, my evening reflection, get outside um, when the weather permits, you know, even open a window for a little bit, 
just get outside. I do love to be out in nature. I just feel better about it. My planning, I'm keeping simple. I have two calendars that I'm I'm keeping updated and that is it. I, I had so many going last year and I spent all my time setting them up and decorating and I'm just not doing it this year. I have a much sim simplified planning. I have weekly goal planning and reflections. I do that every week. Lettering daily, that is a new one. And I'm going to book a facial this next month. Uh, the self-care is something I'm going to focus on. And since I have done so well in my no spend, I want to clarify that my no spend doesn't mean to spend no money. It means I'm only spending on my budgeted items. You know, I'm not going to see something and be influenced to buy it. And that's, that was the problem I was having. I was buying everything I saw on Instagram. So I have unsubscribed from a lot of accounts, you know, that I'm not using their planners. I don't want to see them or maybe some of the products. And it just helped keep me from scrolling and being influenced. And I just am determined that that's what I'm going to do. But in doing so, I have saved a lot of money. And though I am going to save it, um, I am going to give myself, I have decided when I do really well, uh, a treat. And so this next month, it being self-care month um, for me, that's just a focus of mine. I am going to book myself a facial and enjoy it. Sleep is still a priority of mine. With fun, I have my facial. So some of these kind of overlap. I am going to read a chapter um, from a book every every day, hopefully. I do try. I'm pretty good about that. Um, and then I'm going to make a friend date, whether that be a lunch, a dinner, coffee. Um, I am going to get something on the books for that. My husband and I will be celebrating our anniversary. I have a Valentine's class party, and I'm going to do some Valentine's for each of the kids. Work is kind of uh, a little bit of really my content planning. I'm going to use, um, I have a content planner. I'm going to check in. I'm going to use it. That's important. And I'm going to share more about how I plan, which is this video here and more to come because I used to just show them, say I liked them, what I liked about them, but I didn't show you what I put in them so much. And um, I'm getting, I'm sharing a little bit more personable stuff. And my goal is also two YouTube videos um, a month. And so this is one, we'll see how I do. I'm hoping to maybe even do more than that. Health is health and wellness. That's mind, body, and soul to me. And so there's a lot and there's a lot I want to do, a lot I want to uh, make sure um, I'm tracking and taking care of. But basically meal planning is really key. I'm going to cook three or more times a week so that we always have fresh foods and healthier options on hand. And then having all my meals um, for work for my work week ready so that I'm not starving and grabbing just junk. I have, you know, healthy meals uh, planned and prepared. I'm doing weights. I want a variety of workouts. I do not want to do the same workout over and over and over again. I used to do that and it just led to a bad hip injury. Uh, I'm going to walk outside when the weather allows. High protein, lots of veggies, low sugar eating. That doesn't mean no sugar. It doesn't mean that I'm not gonna have a good piece of cake on my anniversary. It just means less less big desserts like that um, and just focus on more of the protein and veggies. Spiritual, I have a really good morning flow going. I have daily prayers, daily Bible reading and my study. I'm doing five to 10 minutes of quiet daily. That means just completely unpl unplug, have a cup of tea nothing i just not not even music i just want to sit and be quiet very seldom do we actually have these quiet moments in our day if you think about it and it's just something i want to start incorporating i want to do a daily gratitude or affirmation it could be one or the other a combination financial i'm definitely on a no spend on any planner planner supplies the only planner supplies i can get are ones that were planned or if the i like some of my favorite pens i actually run out of I will repurchase those, but I'm not buying another set of markers because they're pretty. I have so many on hand, I'm gonna use what I have. And I'm going to track my spending. I really wanna make sure I know where my money's going. Hopefully that will help me identify, you know, where I really need to focus on even saving or being better about money. I'm gonna set up my February budget and then each week I will check in and look over the budget for that week. And. We also have a North Face credit that I want to use before it expires. 
physical environment. My focus is getting all the indoor projects that I can get done right now since we are basically inside. That will allow me to be to be able to do all the outdoor projects or spend more time outdoors when the weather is better. So I have a few items, clean junk drawer, linen closet, my planner closet has gotten a bit cluttered. I need to go through it. I'm gonna put away all the other winter items. I have a few uh, Christmassy leftover items that I kept for January. I am going to clean the leather furniture, wipe it all down and the ceiling fans. So then what I will do is I will start jotting these down in this planner on my February goals and let me do that and I will just put this on the speed mode. So there we have it. That is my setup for the week. And because I'm using what I have, I did buy a lot of accessories with Moxie Life and I have really been enjoying them. And I'm like, if I have them, I'm gonna use them. So the washi sets were one of the things and I love that they come on this ring and it, they're all together. So I just have to grab it and go. And as I started, I was like, wait, I always have to remember to use the ruler. And I have used this ruler so much, I'm realizing I have a lot of ink on it, so I am going to clean that up. And then, of course, I have a variety of the Moxie Life, um, the dot mark, the dot tip markers, and just the highlighters. And they're all, they're both dual tip, and they have, you know, the fine point at the other end, which is really nice. So I made sure, I thought, I'm just going to make my pages pretty. And this is February uh, from my brainstorm in my book here. And so I'm just going to then um, start working on my weekly actions um, here in a day or two. But that's what I have. And if you have any questions, let me know. Do you like to goal plan? Um, are you new to goal planning? Let me know. And if you're interested in anything um, at Moxie Life, any of the accessories or even the planner, my code is Carol and it will save you 10%. Thank you so much for watching and please um, leave any comments if you have any questions and I'd be happy to answer them. You can always find me um, on IG at mom.plans and me and my friend Taylor have a fun Facebook group called Planning with Carol and Taylor. Everyone have a great day.